Do energy pills work? And are they worth supplementing? Let's find out. Hey, what's up? Greg here, the founder of Your Inception. Welcome to my channel. If you wanna achieve limitless performance, then subscribe below to start a journey. Today, we gonna talk about energy pills. Now, these little pills contain so many interesting compounds that you should definitely consider adding to your daily regime, to your daily uh, supplements that you're basically taking because they can do so much for you. But the question is, are energy pills actually effective? Do they work? Are they safe to take on a daily basis? What can you expect from them? What do you wanna see in an energy pill? What kind of compounds, what kind of energy boosters? And that's what we're gonna talk about today. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you some of the best energy pills that I currently recommend. So if you're ready, let's just begin. Just before I share with you the best compounds that I wanna see in an energy pill, I just wanna say a couple of things why those pills are getting so popular. So we have so many things ongoing on a daily basis, so, so many tasks, daily commutes, um, you know, a, a limitless amount of activities we have to handle every single day. Um, then a lot of people have very poor quality sleep. So if you add all those stuff and many hours together, what's gonna happen is, of course, eventually you're gonna have no energy left and you're gonna have to search for different stimulants, for different kind of natural or synthetic compounds that would help you kind of survive the day. And that's why this energy uh, pills are getting so popular and the whole industry is just booming. So I'm not saying the energy pills are your solution to the cause of what's you know causing the, um, the low energy that you have, but they can definitely help you out. Let's check out the most important and the best ingredients you can find in an energy pill. First, let's start with caffeine. Now the funny thing is I actually do have my cup of coffee here. So obviously that's where you can get lots of caffeine but, you know, sometimes drinking coffee is very beneficial. It's actually pretty good. Of course, it's probably not the best way how to get caffeine. And that's why I rarely drink a cup of coffee and I often take caffeine through caffeine pills. Now, as you probably know, caffeine is the most widely used psychoactive substance or stimulant in the world. And you can find it in 60 different plants. Um, you can find it in teas and so on. Now, caffeine is a great compound. It's a great thing you wanna have in your energy pill because it can boost your energy. It can make you uh, more focused. It can increase your attention. It can make you feel really, really good. Of course, if you take too much caffeine on a daily basis for a long period, you're gonna need more and more and more, which is not something you wanna get into. And another issue with caffeine is that all of a sudden, if you take it too much, for example, you can get some nasty side effects like jittery, like um, you can become very nervous, you might have issues with focus and so on and so on. So what you actually uh, want to do is uh, combine caffeine with some other compounds that can still you know, give you the benefits. So you can still, you still wanna get the benefits of caffeine, but you don't wanna get the side effects. And that's my recommendation. Of course, we're gonna soon talk about the ingredient that I wanna combine caffeine with, uh, but just before I do, keep in mind that the best way to combine caffeine with our compounds, in my opinion, is of course, through such brain pills or such energy pills like this one, because in this one, you can add a lot of different compounds and this is very, very powerful. By the way, guys, are you currently taking any energy pills? If you do, let me know in the comment section below. So the best compound to combine with caffeine is L-theanine. Now L-theanine is an amino acid that is found in many different compounds, especially in green tea, black tea, for example. That's kind of the most popular way we consume a lot of L-theanine on a daily basis and we're not even aware of it. Now L-theanine is actually kind of a funny compound because on one hand it can boost your alertness and on the other hand it can uh, make you more relaxed. So it also helps people with sleep. So how can a sleep uh, promoting aid or sleep promoting compound help you boost your energy? Well, it's quite funny. If you combine with caffeine, what happens is you still get the positive benefits of caffeine, right? But 
uh, L-theanine ensures that you don't get the side effects. So all the you know uh, processes that happen in your body and brain, basically because of when you combine those two compounds, they ensure that this magical result happens, that you get a lot of energy without the side effects. So caffeine still replaces adenosine in your brain, which is an important process for you to get the energy boost. But L-theanine on the other side kind of controls that you know whatever caffeine is doing, it doesn't go over the boundary of, of, of what you want to happen actually. But to get the benefits of caffeine and L-theanine, you need to take them in the right dosage. Now, uh, current studies show that the best optimal dosage is 100 milligrams of caffeine and 200 milligrams of L-theanine. Obviously, the best way you can find this is in capsules like this, because you can put 100 milligrams of powder here of caffeine and then 200 milligrams of L-theanine but you're still gonna have some more space for other compound, and that's the cool thing. By the way, guys, if you like this video, I'd be super happy if you press the like button below. Now, another compound I wanna talk about and you wanna have in an energy pill is called cetylcholine. Now, you can find cetylcholine in different parts of your body and brain. It's a natural compound, basically, even though the name sounds kind of, a, you know, tricky or synthetic, but it really isn't. So what cetylcholine can do is it can boost your brain uh, energy, basically. It can boost your brain performance. It can increase your focus, your alertness. And as a result, it can also increase your energy levels. Cetylcholine has this power to influence your mitochondrial function. So mitochondria are responsible for the body energy, basically. And cetylcholine can influence mitochondria in different ways, mainly by protecting it. So you definitely want to add some cetylcholine in a brain pill. I think that's very beneficial. Uh, now, the best thing I would recommend is just uh, taking Cognizant, which is a branded version of Cetylcholine. It showed to be very beneficial. It's a high quality extract that you actually wanna get uh, in your brain pill or your energy pill in this case. So you can also add Cetylcholine, small dosage, around 100 to 300 milligrams into a pill like that to have even more energy and brain power. Oh, by the way, guys, I've revealed seven powerful secrets that will show you how you can outperform everyone else around you. To get them, download my free handbook below. Another interesting compound I want to talk about is Rhodiola rosea. Now, Rhodiola rosea is basically an adaptogen plant, which is by default very often used by people who are under severe stress because the way it works, it can decrease your stress levels, it can help with depression, it can make you more relaxed. Potentially, it can help you uh, with sleep as well. So it's a very interesting and potent nootropic and potent uh, compound basically, especially the extract you get from it and uh, the extracts are often added to different kind of uh, supplements, for example. Now studies show that supplementing rhodiola can also increase your mental functions, it can increase your mental performance and give you more brain and body energy. And our studies also show that by supplementing uh, Rhodiola rosea, some people achieve better physical performance, which is, you know, really interesting to know. So if you smartly combine Rhodiola rosea, or if you buy any kind of um, energy pills, check if Rhodiola rosea is in a high quality extract, because you can expect a lot of benefits. It goes well with caffeine, well with l and, and, you know, that's very important to know. But always check if your favorite energy pill has a high quality extract of rhodiola and that's very, very important. Okay, last but not least, let's talk about B vitamins. I know we often talk about B vitamins, a lot of people talk about how important B vitamins are, not just for vegans or vegetarians, but also for everyone else, because they're responsible for different kind of functions in our body. But in general, when it comes to energy, what they do is they're involved uh, in the food you eat, and they help to convert it into energy. They don't change into energy like food does, but they can convert dietary energy into ATP. And this is an energy that our body uses for different kind of chemical processes, you know? So it's a very important type of the energy. So if you buy any kind of energy pills, check if there are some high quality vitamins B, and a B complex is usually something I would recommend. And yeah, make sure it's a high quality and not overdosed supplement, because usually many supplements really have a lot of like high dosages of a B complex, which is totally unnecessary because you know, you only want to get enough of it to get, if you get it more then you know, your body requires, nothing's gonna happen. You're not gonna have more energy. So, so much about the main compounds that you want to have in an energy pill. Now, most people take energy pills on a daily basis, especially those that are chronically 
uh, tired uh, or you know people who just need an additional energy boost now and then like again I'd need now and then for example like making such a video so my recommendation is the following if you are constantly tired you know all the time if you wake up tired if you go to bed tired if you're tired during the day in this case, I do recommend consulting your doctor because you probably have some other health related issues, maybe some issues with food you eat, maybe some issues with sleep, maybe some other chronic stuff that you wanna have checked. In this case, you know, energy pills are not the best solution for you in my opinion, but of course do consult your doctor. If you're generally healthy and you don't have any issues and you just need an energy booster now and then, in this case, I do absolutely recommend taking caffeine pill, of course, as I always do, consult a doctor even in this case, but you know, um, you can expect a lot of benefits. Now, I love energy pills. I often take them on a daily basis almost, like at least a couple of times per week, that's for sure. And I usually take them in the morning, um, just before I start working on the main tasks, because you know, a typical energy pill needs about you know, a couple of minutes to about 30 minutes to really kick in. And in this period, you kind of get all the benefits and then the energy stays with you for a couple of hours. So it's really, really, beneficial. Whenever you need a quick fix, coffee can do miracles. Some other stuff can deliver really great results. But if you want to avoid any kind of crashes, if you want to avoid any kind of other issues, in this particular case, I mean, um, brain or energy pills are really, really beneficial. They're even more convenient to take, you know, just swallow them. The, the energy stays with you for a longer period. There are no side effects usually. And, you know, a funny thing, but they're usually much cheaper than just a cup of coffee. So there are really lots of benefits. So if you want to try any energy pills, there's a link below that's going to lead you to my site where I reviewed many, many energy pills, like the best of the best. And you can check my recommendations, um, check them out. And then, you know, if you want to try it out, you can just order one of them. Now, there are a lot of energy pills available to the market. M many of them are very simple. They only contain caffeine and L-theanine, but I personally I recommend more. Um, advanced ones because you can get many additional benefits for basically no additional cost or just for a fraction of the price. So it's really, really affordable. Cool guys, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget subscribing to my Limitless Monday newsletter in which I share a lot of useful tips with you. Don't forget subscribing to my channel, following your inception on Facebook, Instagram. Don't forget liking this video. And guys, I hope to see you soon. Take care.